The goal of Stockport is to help people in Stockport learn about the paranormal history of the places and the areas where they actually live. Many people who live in Stockport don't know the paranormalities that are actually here. The very old place is Stockport and very paranormally active. Here is the White Lion. The White Lion has got many reported sites of paranormal activity, documented paranormal activities going on. It's one of the oldest drinking venues left in Stockport. Originally, it's the last coaching house in Cheshire. So this is one of the main places that we like to bring people. This is the cellar. The cellar being the oldest part and the original part of the White Lion. It was in this cellar that it's believed that a murder occurred, took place. We're not too sure if it was a servant man or a coach, a coachman in the period. But his spirit is still very active here today. People have reported feeling things, they've heard strange noises, and our ourselves have actually heard um, strange noises that have occurred down here. Um, his spirit is still very active. Things do move down here. And now we're going to go to the spirit cupboard. White Lion originally was built as the White Lion Hotel. It was built in the early 1700s. It was rebuilt in 1904 with an extra floor building on the top. Now the reason why it adapts the name The Spirit Cupboard is because of the paranormal activities that have actually been reported in here. Staff have been in here, they've reported bottles and artifacts being thrown from the back area towards the front. They've been physically hit by them. Um, there's all sorts of things. There's been strange noises, strange smells. <laughs> I'm Steve, like Chris, also from Club Zero Ghost Group. The staircase we're walking up now plays a major role in the paranormal activity within the White Lion. It is said a woman hung herself through broken hearted with on the actual very staircase after the death of her lover. <laughs> this is room 18. Room 18, a very uneasy room. A very dismal room, but if you want to experience the uneasiness, if you're bold enough to experience the uneasiness, then why not join us on our very first ghost tour on the 1st of November, meeting at the Chester Gate Tavern at 8 o'clock. All proceeds to cancer research. Do you have the stomach for a ghost walk? I don't, because I'm a lily-livered weakling.